Hey everybody, it's Miss T from the Children's Library of the Plainfield Public Library. Thank everybody for, I want to thank everybody for coming out to another special story time. Today we are reading from Once Upon a Time, Traditional Latin American Tales, written by Ruben Martinez and illustrated by Raul Colon. And today's story is called The Wedding Rooster. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful rooster who lived on a farm not far from town. Now every morning he would wake up very early to brush his crest and smooth out his feathers and polish up his beak until it sparkled like the sun. Now on this particular morning he groomed himself more than usual because he was getting ready to go to his uncle Perico's wedding. When he strutted out of his pen, elegant as a king, the hens looked at him and cried, Ooh, ooh, my, how handsome he is. He is so good looking. Pleased to have gained such admiration, the rooster set off to the wedding. Now he hummed as he went along, <laughs> happy and content, until he spotted a kernel of corn on top of a heap of mud. Tempted, the rooster came to a halt, but he didn't want to get himself dirty. What should I do, he wondered. If I don't peck at it, I'll lose the kernel of corn. But if I do peck at it, I'll get my beak dirty, and I won't be able to go to Uncle Perico's wedding. What should I do to peck or not to peck? The little kernel of corn looks so very sweet that the rooster decided to peck at it and ended up dirtying his beak. Upset, he strutted over to the side of the road, and without even bothering to greet the sun growing there, said, Grass, help clean me up. I can't go to my Uncle Perico's wedding with a dirty big cock on at all. I don't want to help you, the grass said. <gasps> Upset by the grass's answer, the rooster kept on walking until he met a goat. That <laughs> He pleaded with the goat in his gentlest voice. Goat, please eat the grass that doesn't want to clean my beak so I can go to my Uncle Perico's wedding. And the grass and the goat said, Nah, I don't want to. The rooster continued on his way until he found a stick at the side of the road. Stick, hit the goat that doesn't want to eat the grass that doesn't want to clean my beak so I can go to my Uncle Perico's wedding? And the stick answered, I don't want to. The rooster continued on his way until he came upon a fire. Surely he will help me out, thought the rooster. Fire! Burn that stick that doesn't want to hit the goat, that doesn't want to eat the grass, that doesn't want to clean my beak, so I can go to my Uncle Perico's wedding, he said. And Fire answered, I don't want to. Furious! The rooster turned around and continued on his way until he came upon a large stream of crystal clear water. Water, please put out that fire that doesn't want to burn the stick, that doesn't want to hit the goat, that doesn't want to eat the grass, that doesn't want to clean my beak so I can go to my Uncle Perico's wedding, he said. But the water answered, I don't want to. Ugh. The rooster was very angry now. He couldn't understand why nobody 
wanted to do what he asked them to do. So he lifted his eyes up to the sky and glanced up at his friend, good friend, the sun, whom he admired every single morning and asked, Son, please dry up that water that doesn't want to put out the fire, that does not want to burn that stick, that doesn't want to hit the goat, that doesn't want to eat the grass, that doesn't want to clean my beak, so I can go to my Uncle Perico's wedding. Pleased to be of help to his friend, the rooster, the son replied, Uh-huh, of course. Ah. At that very moment, the water, nervous, the water nervously said, Ex Excuse me, I'll put out the fire. And the fire said, oh, oh, excuse me, I'll burn the stick. And the stick said, excuse me, I'll hit the goat. And the goat said, nah, I'll eat the grass. And the grass said, oh, how clean your beak. And that's how the grass cleaned the rooster's beak. And he was finally able to attend his uncle Perico's wedding and that my friends is the end and once again it comes from the book once upon a time traditional latin american tales written by ruben martinez and illustrated by raul Colon. now just as a short note although similar tales can be found in europe especially in spain which is the source of so many Latin American folk tales, the wedding rooster originates in the beautiful island of Cuba and is very popular throughout the Caribbean. The rooster is very is a very important animal in the countryside since he is in charge of waking everybody up to go to work or to go to school. Now this may explain why so many roosters are so vain and like this one in this amusing story hmm, sometimes just a bit bossy so if you're a vain rooster mm, -do -do -do, this story was for you thank you for coming out and enjoying this story please be safe and if you need our help we are open you can call us or reach us on the website if you have any questions or if you have any um, story ideas that you would like to share. So this is Miss T once again from the Children's Library of the Plainville Public Library. Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. And I, from our vain rooster friends, have a good school year. Be safe. And until we read again, so long for now.